where they moved the food to Jerusalem. You know, Babylon, down there you saw, they had all those trucks, burned out trucks, burned out buses and everything. And we took. May I ask yeah. you a question? No, Ray and I both are interested because you belong with us. What happened to the rest of your family besides your brother? We knew your brother, but who else survived? Nobody survived. Nobody else survived? Nobody survived. Father, I had no, my father, my father was taken, I told you, when yeah, I right. jumped the truck, and my father was taken, gone. My two sisters did survive Auschwitz. I, I don't know about that. I don't know where they went. Right. My brother, when he was in Hamburg, he said, supposedly in Theresienstadt. He saw some place uh, their name, oh. but uh, oh. that they arrived there someplace. But then I heard uh, a ship was sunk with, uh, with uh, people from concentration camp. It could be that they were on that ship and they sunk the ship. We don't know if the Germans sunk it or the Allies sunk it. I don't know till today. Right? We did look my brother because he was in Hamburg. I was in, uh, in Palestine. And then uh, eventually we united. I came to Paris. He came to Paris. We had a cousin living there. And I stayed there for a week. And then I went back to Hamburg. Down there I, I heard that they offering uh, to train uh, Monter, to, to train um, somebody, a technician, because they start paying reparation to Israel. And to Israel, no German could come to Israel. They didn't let them in. But they did let the, the machines. And they asked me to, although I worked with them about a year and a half, and then me and my wife came back to Israel and I got a contract from the company and uh, for four years. I didn't want to sign more than four years because I was also at the Khel Abir. I was in the Air Force and they, any time something happened, I had to go back. And they, my boss didn't like it that uh, every time something, a skirmish came, they came and picked me up to come back to the Air Force. And when I needed or wanted to leave Israel, I, I didn't get permission. For four years, they didn't give me permission to leave. Eventually, they had no, they had no choice, and they gave me permission, so I left. My contract ran out, too, so I said I'm going to America. So I came to America. I had, uh, I think, $1,600, yeah, and I owe my brother $500. I told him I'm going to give you, in 10 months, every month $50. So I gave him $500. I, the second day I came to America, I started working. Yeah. Would you, when you talked about, uh, it's Yom HaShoah Day, could you talk about the anti-Semitism in Poland, Poland and in Germany? I can tell you when I worked uh, at the German f factory, and they, there was also an uh, Egyptian engineer, Yachad, uh, together with me, were learning the, the profession. And uh, we were good friends. He was from Egypt. And, uh, and they invited me to their home. The, the people who, who worked with me at the factory, they liked me a lot because I arranged also my wife to come and eat with me lunch. They gave permission for my wife to come and eat with me together with the rest of the workers. And when I went to another state, I took my wife with me. She became pregnant at the time. And I said, no, she is not gonna, we're not gonna have the child in Germany. So I said, when she comes, about eight months, we're going to go back to Israel. So we went back to Israel. And, uh, and, I, and the guy who was a representative of the companies in Germany, 
he signed me up for four years. He gave me at the time 350 liras a month. This was good money at the time in Israel. My sister-in-law and, uh, and her husband didn't make, both of them didn't make that money. So, and the boss also gave me some money to buy a uh, one-room apartment. So, and uh, we had a good time. Everybody liked me and my wife. She, she came to the factory, everybody know, and she came, oh, your wife is coming. I got to find some pictures down there from Germany together with her. What's it? They invited me to their house in Hamburg. One guy, he said he likes the girl. I had a friend of mine, and she and I invited her when we had a party from the company. So I invited her too. And the guy said, can I see her too and dance with her? And I said, yeah. So we were friendly and I came back and he invited me to his house in Hamburg Blankenese. They had a beautiful house. And we made also friends with another guy. They were like uh, really good, good guys. And, uh, and I asked them, what happened during the war? I say, you must have known what's going on. <coughs> Killed so many Jews and you people didn't know. They so always their answer was always, we haven't garnished this. <coughs> we haven't garnished this. This in German, we didn't know nothing about what's going on. I said, big baloney. You know, you must have known what was going on, yeah. And the, the funny thing is, when I was alone, and, and I was in the Palmach, then I went the course, men coffin, Shama Baharka, Haiti Mefakeid, the Bao, the people came from North Africa, from Algiers. I became their instructor too. They came in 1947, 48. Yeah, so. In 49. Um, we will leave a little bit time for questions. Yeah, okay. Is okay with you? Sure. Okay, so maybe before we start the question, we have two young ladies that went to Poland and really won three? How many? No, I'm going to sit there. Three. three young ladies went to Poland and really want to share their stories with us. So who want to come first? <laughs>